Teen is Rap Challenge. Um, so to those who have been following my Insta stories and watched my live on Sunday, you'll know exactly what this is about. Um, if you haven't had a chance to catch up yet, Teen is Rap Challenge is basically where I put out two products um, that I will wrap that will be rather challenging because of their size or shape and then my Instagram followers will then vote on my Insta stories on a Monday which one they'd like to see me wrap. Um, so the live will then be done on Facebook on a Thursday. Um, I've put down 1pm for now but I think the time may have to vary little, I will let you guys know. Um, the live will be done on Facebook on a Thursday and you will see me wrap the item that won. The replay is also available on my YouTube as well. I've left all the links in the description box. So if you're not following Instagram or not subscribed to YouTube, the links are there. Um, just press that button so you get to see all of my stuff. So the vote um, this week, the two products that it picked, one was a, um, a large ceramic piggy bank and another was a children's mini scooter. And well, we don't have to manually count votes anymore because Instagram does all that for us. Um, this was one of the items. It's actually quite heavy, you know. I might um, I'll probably use this again. Um, well, I'm going to wrap it now, aren't I? No, I'm not. The, guy, uh, the, the item you guys picked was the mini scooter. And I can't thank you guys enough because you couldn't have made it any easier. It's already, it's already boxed. It's like a really easy challenge, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I can see some angry faces going off. I'm not going to do that. This, this is what one, and this is what you're going to see me wrap today. Um, so here's how it is done. Got Mr. Rapid filming again for me, so thank you for that. Right, what am I going to use? I'm not going to use wrapping paper actually for the scooter. I'm going to use the scooter as well. I'm just going to slide off the table now. I'm going to use this. It's like a sticky tablecloth. Right, why? Because one, it's humongous. Um, it's more durable than wrapping paper. If you try to wrap a scooter with like standard wrapping paper, you'll just see it rip everywhere. Oh. Right, so we're gonna use tablecloth. Don't use a tablecloth from the dining table. Pretty sure <laughs> there'll be a few unhappy people with that. Right, I'm just going to measure it up, Maybe a little bit more than that, measure it up to take it both ways. This is going to be fun isn't it with a scooter rolling around everywhere. <laughs> All right, I'll cut it about there. There we are. So I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far, the weather has held up really nicely for us. And we've got a bank holiday coming up as well. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of that. So my um, daughter saw the pictures on my phone. Um, my eldest questioned why her scooter wasn't going to be wrapped up. She was actually really upset about it, bless her. Um, but I had to explain to her that um, this one is smaller and it's probably better for the camera anyway. Right. A bit face with you. I hope you guys can see that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring tablecloth up, just even it out a little bit. You can grab these from like anywhere, so it's not even something that's hard to find. Right, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my hand, just like grab as much as I can from here and I'm only I'm going to leave the handlebars out and you'll see why after. I'm just going to pull all of this up. Tuck that in underneath there. I've given myself 20 minutes to do this, so um I am I'm confident I'll get it done in 20 minutes. There we go, and then the first bit here, I'm just going to tuck that in over there. And then I'll sort of take that out. Right, there we go. If, you're, if you come on, do say hello as well. If you're watching on YouTube, do leave a comment. 
I'll leave some comments below. Right. So I'm going to use my favourite. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. See, this happens when it's on a live and I never thought about it. But what I'm going to do here, what am I going to do here? Right, I'm going to use a little bit of ribbon to tie it up. This doesn't have to be anything special. Bring it up as far as you can to the handlebars. Uh, sorry guys. A little bit right. I honestly feel like I need more arms than I wrap. It's just not enough arms to hold everything. Right, that, as you can see I use a really thin ribbon there. Um, So this is going to be the bottom bit. I'm just going to get a little bit of tape. Kind of tape some of these bits together because you will still see it. Uh, the reason why I didn't want to go over it because I wanted to um, show the handlebars as well to a degree. Let's tuck everything in. in the studio if you're again if you're on my insta stories you will see that uh, mr rapid he's been really really handy actually really talented as well to just uh, get my studio done for me so that's that's really nice so if you have any suggestions things that you want me to uh, do um dm me i have had some suggestions uh based on my sense of humor i suppose i'm pretty sure facebook will Close my page off if I even started wrapping some of those items, so I'll leave that to your imagination. Right there. That bit's done. I'm just gonna cut a bit off the top here. I hope you guys can still see actually. Okay, let's get rid of this excess. So imagine you tried doing that with um, standard wrapping paper, it would have torn everywhere. So this tablecloth is actually pretty handy. There we go. Right, handlebars are a little exposed so just a tiny bit of tape on there. Right on the inside where we cannot see it. Yes, I'm done. Right, I'm not stopping there. No way. Put some bows on the uh, ribbons I use to tie the cellophane up. Not that it will be seen, but it just makes it look a bit nicer. And there we go. There we go. So you got Nazira on. Hi Nazira. She wanted you to wrap the pig. Oh, you know what? The pig actually only got about, uh, if I remember saying, I think it was 19%. No one wanted to see the pig get wrapped. But don't worry, I'll put it back on. I might put it back on in a couple of weeks, actually. You got abs on. Hi, abs. He got what he voted for, obviously. Yep, mini scooter. Right. That looks boring. Not to my standards, is it? Right, we're going to wrap it in some cellophane now. Make it really, really fun. Do a double wrap. So I picked this um, purple one today. And yeah, I just realised now that all the cellophane is hung, I don't have enough colours. So for those of you who've been watching my Insta stories, have probably seen how much cellophane I do have. This is actually a bit heavy. Mr. Wrap it deserves a big gift. A big gift? Well, that's... Mr. Rocket might have to wrap you one day, imagine that. <laughs> 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 He's a little like mouthpiece just so you can breathe. 
We need the live running to see how long you last. I can see my divorce papers being handed out quite soon after. I won't do that to you, have I? Right there, messed it up. This is actually a challenge because Mr. Rapid actually, I'm not calling Mr. Rapid Jay, he always helps me carry this cellophane. Every time I want to do something with cellophane, it's, it's not easy um, carrying it on my own. But it's fine, managed. All the muscles I've built up from the uh, half marathon I did. <laughs> The same technique as before, except this one I'm going to gather at the top. Let the shape continue to be seen at the bottom. Don't worry about that bit over there, because I will sellotape all that into place. Hi Ellie. <laughs> oh, hi Dad. I'm actually gonna have to unwrap this before the kids get home from nursery. Or um I could just imagine. <laughs> Why did you wrap my mood and wash out my scooters for? Right, I'm gonna put some of because I'm not I'm going to do the bow at the front here, so let me give myself enough hang. I hope you guys can see this. This is actually a bit, it's a bit bigger than I thought. God, imagine I did have the big scooter. to 70 but the one with 70 has actually got lots and lots of pieces in it as well and um, keep an eye out on my website there is a new website coming out as well soon so keep an eye out on that and you'll see more details of it on there and i'm going to be running some courses too on how to make them so if you're interested um ping me a message and i can send you some details over Sorry, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing there. Just tucking the sides in of the cellophane, tuck it in at the bottom where we cannot see it. This has actually turned out really nice. I'm so pleased with that. And if any of you wrap up the mini scooter, take a picture, post it on social, hashtag Tina's Wrap Challenge. Um, I did put it in the description. If I didn't, I'll pop that hashtag in. Put it in now. I want to see what you guys wrap. I have put a bit of um, cellophane on now. I'll tell you why, because everyone has a habit of holding the gift from up there, so we don't want it to come apart. You. Right. Let's get this evening's up, and then I'm going to work on a really nice, simple bow. I've actually got a different design, obviously, today as well. Sharifa's on. Hi, Sharifa. I want to order one of the bouquets, so <laughs> oh, start wicked. making. Wicked. Let me know your order. Um, you can wait, you can still order it on my website, um, and I will get that made for you in no time. Um, suggestions of what you want to see me wrap then let me know I also know that um, Eid is coming up soon as well so
so if, if there's going to be lots of gift giving going on if you want to see me wrap something or maybe some like um some potential ideas as well for Eve, then let me know i have got something else up my sleeve which i won't publish just yet give me a week um and i'll put it on right there we are that looks pretty cool from the front fluff that red up from inside a little bit more and i've already done just any kind of bow on here to keep it in place right so this is a children's item let's face it not very many kids care about the way something is gift wrapped um so i'm going to make it fun for them how i'll show you how underneath the scooter right. i'm going to use this something so simple it's bubbles you can get grab these from like tesco for i think a pound uh you get about five or six of them I'm going to dangle these little bubbles off, off the bow, so that way when someone, well, when a child receives his present, it's not probably going to take me longer to pierce a, a ribbon through this hole than it will to wrap the whole thing right there we go. Yeah, so when a child gets a gift, it's like, it's not just one gift, is it? It's like two of them. Is it, is it, <laughs> Mr. Rapid is laughing, I can only imagine that something dodgy is being said. Mm, mm, there is a few things, but um, <laughs> your dad wants to make up. him one. I don't know if he wants a bouquet or if he wants a scooter. Who, my dad? Yeah. Um, dad, wait till you get here, you're finishing the studio. There's no time for bouquets for you. <laughs> there's uh, Mads. Hi Mads. She, she got some more information on the course, so you can send that to her later. Yes, definitely. I will check back all my messages and send that to you as well. Right. Someone has asked to wrap me before, but it's... it's What's but that? Nazira's asked to wrap me She again. did. She did at Christmas. I haven't forgotten Nazira. One day, one day I'll pin him down. Uh, well, obviously not like that. Um, <laughs> okay. One day he will agree to being wrapped. Right, so just pierced, uh, not pierced, I've just popped the ribbon behind um, the tail that was already there. I'm gonna pop a nice little bow on it. An easy one as well, don't over knot it because remember this, if this is for kids, they're not gonna, they're gonna get really annoyed actually if you stick a knot on one of their gifts and they can't get to it. I made the mistake once of uh, wrapping my kids' presents in double-sided sticky tape. Oh my God, were they mad at me um, because <laughs> I just can't get the wrapping paper off. Um, so from now on with the kids' presents, I don't use, um, well, I don't use the normal double-sided sticky tape. I use a very, very small amount. Right, here we go. Bless them, they are so used to having their stuff <laughs> wrapped up after they've opened. I remember once I wrapped up some flashcards um, and my daughter kept asking me if she could have the one, two, three flashcards back because it's been such a long time. It's been sat there wrapped and I'm not obviously giving it to anyone. Um, so there you go, they're going to come home and see the scooter left up now. There we go, it's just nothing special, just got little bow, um, bubbles hanging out at the front. Right, I'm going to use a satin ribbon now, just to put one more bow on there. Really bring it all out. And do this facing me, so I'm going to don't cut the ribbon until you've done the bow because last thing you want to do is just uh, have a wasted your ribbon. Okay. So I've got yeah, gift wrapping classes are coming soon as well, guys. And um, if you're interested, drop me a DM. They are going to be in my boutique studio. So uh, you'll be very inspired with all the wrapping paper that's around you or the ribbon that's around you. Just like lots of crafting material it's going to be amazing right, there we go right, just going to get that bow straight i'm also going to have a free download coming out soon as well um, on how to gift wrap um, and lots and lots of online tutorials they're being worked on at the moment um, so i'm really really excited and they will be on the new website as well when that is ready it's just going to need a nice little Yeah, effective. Right, let me know what you think of that, guys. Um, there's the front. 
can't see anything from the top. There we go. I don't even know if you saw that. In the back. That looks quite cool. I'm actually going to leave that as it is, let the kids unwrap it when they get home. So, if you liked what I just did, make sure you like the video, share it, comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And if you're not seeing this on Facebook, then don't forget to follow me on Facebook too for when you see it on YouTube. Any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions, make sure you message me. That's it for now, guys, and I'll see you next Thursday. Take care.